Both teams started out really hot, so hot that Mother Nature decided to cool them both off with that delay. Now we're back in the top of the fourth, and the Nats are now down 4-3 to three to the Marlins. Moore says the average recovery time is 5-7 to seven days, but when it takes longer than 7 days to recover from a concussion, it can take a toll on more than just your physical health. Both teams are trading in their trademark colors for pink. The pink will honor former basketball coach Kay Yao, who passed away from breast cancer. Zeller is competing against more than 1,000 college players to be one of just 253 draft picks. If he wants to be one of those picks, he needed a way to show NFL teams why he's the best option. So who is this year's sleeping beauty? Well, it's the Purdue Boilermakers. Purdue blocks nearly five shots per game and are second in the nation in rebounding margin with nearly 11 more rebounds than their opponents per game. Maryland needs to make sure that they take care of the basketball. Youth drives the field. Four of the five top five ranked players in the world are younger than 30 years old. Hey Dave, I'm out here in Stamp Student Union in College Park. It's a balmy 61 degrees, but it's even hotter in the Xfinity Center. With Selection Sunday just four days away, teams should be playing their best basketball. The key word is should be. The loss this weekend at Indiana means the Terps have lost four of six going into the Big Ten tournament. Now what will we see in tonight's game? You're going to see points, you're going to see up and down basketball, and you're going to see great shooting from both teams. The Terps are trying to reach their third Final Four. If they get there, Juan Dixon would have been a part of all three. Two is a player, and now one is a coach. Oh, and by the way, he wore the number three. That's all for sports. Back to you at the desk. The horses here are getting a second chance on life, and that's a treat that everyone can enjoy. But age is just a number as Bubba Watson won this tournament two years ago at the age of 35. And Gary Player hit a hole-in-one at the par-3 challenge yesterday. Player is 80 years young. Now I'll chip it back to you guys at the desk. A lifetime of trying. Nothing but dedication and hard work. Only for an opportunity. You really don't know where you stand until it actually happens. So right now, I'm kind of still in the dark. Um, I don't know what my chances are. For Maryland offensive lineman Andrew Zeller, it's all about doing what he loves. Uh, I mean, I've been working my whole life. I've always loved the game of football. Zeller knows to get to the NFL, there are no off days. And he has to rise to any challenge. Go. Zeller is competing against more than 1,000 college players to be one of just 253 draft picks. If he wants to be one of those picks, he needed a way to show NFL teams why he's the best option. So Maryland invited NFL teams to their pro day. More than half of the NFL teams sent scouts, making pro day a major event. Zeller thinks he capitalized on his opportunity. I think it went really well. Uh, I came out, I think I put up some good numbers, uh, but there was uh, uh, 20 different teams out here today, uh, which is a good platform for me to perform and uh, show them what I have the ability to do. Something his teammates have seen for five years. You got a great work ethic, you know. Um, he's strong as hell in the weight room, you know, on, on the field, you know, he has great strength, but most importantly, he's a good leader. For running back Brandon Ross, Zeller's real strength is his character. You know, he's, one of the, he's one of them guys, like as a running back, you want to run behind. Something Zeller hopes an NFL team sees in him. I don't know, all I'm looking for is an opportunity and uh, I, I just can't wait to see what, what life has in store for me next. Songwriter Rich Faley is fluent in music. It's, it's the one universal language, it really is. Maryland native writes country music for artists in Nashville to sing. But the real good songs come from here. From Bailey's heart, it goes to Noel White's computer. The way it always changes is what makes it fun. White owns Hudson Street Sound in Annapolis. He gives writers like Bailey a chance to focus their work. Sit in a bar for an hour, see how much you spend. Come in here for an hour and see how much you spend. You're gonna leave with something here. White uses a process called overdubbing. This means he piles layer after layer of sound in order to create a fuller sounding piece. By the time you're done recording a song, you don't even, you can't even see through it anymore. It's almost like white noise. The song is then finalized and sent off for artists to hear. For Faley, 
a finished song is more than just a payday. You're gonna help somebody get through tough times. You're gonna make somebody laugh when they don't want to. You're gonna make somebody cry and touch their hearts. For Maryland Newsline, I'm Andrew Horn. Drive the winding road, walk into the barn, and feel the calm. Being out here, it's, 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 like I said, it's, it's a peace of mind. It's like a sanctuary out here. Second Chance Farm in Sykesville is more than just a sanctuary for the horses. It's also a sanctuary for the inmates that take care of them. Marcus Jackson is one of those inmates. Well, what got me incarcerated was uh, just, just having negative energy. Jackson is currently serving a 12-year sentence something he called an unexpected detour. I never thought I would be in prison. I guess this was part of my journey, so it just made me a better person. Though. Jackson's second chance is just beginning, as the horses he cares for are in their home stretch. The horses here are getting a second chance on life, and that's a treat that everyone can enjoy. They become. It's a dismal um, outcome, and that's the part that's that's kind of tragic. Judy Coyne enjoys helping so much, she came out of retirement to run the program. Love horses, and I love working with the guys that have had trouble in the past, and it just seems to be my purpose. It's like everything culminated to this point. The program is six months long and provides the inmates with elite certifications in horse grooming, something Coyne says has a profound effect. One guy said it best. He goes, you know, I, I've had a lot of paper in my life, but all the papers I've had have been from court. This is the first paper that I've had that shows that I was success at something. And the program has been successful in keeping inmates from coming back to jail. Only 6% of the second chance inmates end up back in jail, far less than Maryland's three-year recidivism rate of 50%. When Jackson gets out, he wants a second chance with his family. I got two boys, so I want to get back into their lives and uh, just be a good provider and, you know, just just be there for them for real. Putting his own spin on the meaning of farm to table. 